Hi everyone, this is Kanababu. This is part 3 of project development by using ASP. So the title of the project is Restaurant Management System. We are developing this project. In the last two videos I discussed about how to draw the year diagrams and how to convert the year diagram into physical database tables. Is it clear? So here I'll try to show you some uh, uh, sample introduction of our project I already told you. Again, once again I will show you. Here you can see. The title of the project is Restaurant Management System. So basically our project comes of, basically if you observe this diagram, our project basically comes of what uh, four modules are there. Is it clear? One is admin module is there. We are developing a project for a particular restaurant. That restaurant is having branches in different locations. One restaurant is having branches in different locations like Kritinga or like BBQ. Like lot of popular restaurants are there. In a metropolitan cities, that restaurant is having different branches, and the owner of the restaurant want to monitor the total restaurants from a single place. So uh, he want to uh, purchase one um, uh, POS software. POS means point of sale software. Actually, these type of softwares comes under ERP domain, enterprise resource planning, means the um, operations that was done within the particular organization. This this is not like Swiggy or Zomato. This is the internal application that will work only within the organization, but it is also a web application. Within that particular multiple restaurants, this application will work. But outside the world, like customer cannot access this application. So this project comes under ERP domain, restaurant management system. So basically this project comes of four modules are there. Admin module is there, manager module is there, floor module is there, kitchen module is there. Generally, in real time, always project development will start from admin panel only. So, as this restaurant is having branches in different locations, is it clear? Here, uh, admin responsibilities are admin will add the restaurant details, designation details, groups, items, state details, city details, location details. Because this restaurant is located in multiple states, multiple cities, multiple locations and manager details and he can view the sales that is the responsibility of admin similarly coming to the floor employee floor employee means the employee who will uh, rotate uh, near the dining he will take the order from the customer is it clear so the responsibility of floor employee is he will reserve the table upload the order cancel the order check the order status generate the bill that is the responsibility of uh, floor employee is it clear everyone that is the responsibility of what floor employee similarly the responsibility of floor employee is he will reserve the table upload the order cancel the order check the order status generate the bill and the kitchen the responsibility of the chef in kitchen the head cook is the chef only he will view the order whatever the order that is uploaded by the floor employee kitchen he will view the order update the status and the manager manager will uh, uh, login and he will add the employee details he will add the shift timings he will add the ingredients ingredients means daily the vegetables and the other items that are required groceries that are required for the restaurant he will try to add into the application and he will prepare the menu manager will prepare the menu and he will uh, uh, arrange the dining also because weekends weekdays the dinings will change he will view the sales details so these are the main modules that are available within the restaurant so whenever you develop any project first of all you must have the knowledge on domain knowledge is required is it clear first of all you must know domain knowledge what uh, companies are expecting that you must know let us see here i'll show you something like this if you observe this diagram just some domain knowledge just for understanding purpose so what are the uh, groups that are available in the restaurant groups means the items chicken curry biryani roti mutton this all comes under groups items like andhra chicken curry telangana chicken curry chili chicken chili garlic chicken garlic like these all comes under items and the main course comes under groups is it clear so you must have the knowledge on the uh, water groups water items that uh, knowledge you must have is it clear Similarly, here if you observe clearly, here you have state details, city details, location details. For example, if you are preparing a restaurant for a Kritinga restaurant or any other popular restaurant, 
because after developing this software, this software was sold to all the restaurants, popular restaurants that are available. And these uh, restaurants and bars. And these restaurants are available in different states, different cities, different locations. Is it clear? And here you can see. Maintaining the designation details, different types of employees working in the restaurant, like manager, floor employee, supervisor, chef, accountant, etc. Is it clear? Now, based on this uh, knowledge, and based on year diagram, we have drawn the year diagram also. Based on this knowledge, you can see here. I will show you the year diagram. Last two videos I explained you about how to draw the year diagram. Here I practically showed you the year diagram. Is it clear? Understand the relationship. You must know how to read the year diagram. You no need to draw the year diagram, but you must know how to read the year diagram. So this is the total year diagram uh, belongs to your particular restaurant. So this is the total year diagram belongs to your project. If you observe clearly here, you can see state, state and city. What is the relation between state and city? One to many. One state can have many cities. One city can have many locations. One location uh, can have one restaurant. You must be able to understand the relation between the tables. Similarly, uh, groups and items you see. One group can have many items. If you take chicken, in chicken, different varieties of items are there. Chicken curry, chili chicken, chicken garlic, etc. So one group can have many items. Similarly, here you can see employee. Is it clear? Uh, one restaurant can have many employees. One designation was assigned to many employees. Is it clear? One employee can work in only one shift. One shift was assigned to one employee. See the relations actually. And coming to restaurant and dining, one restaurant can have many dinings. And one dining, multiple dinings are available in one restaurant. One, in single restaurant, you have many dining tables are there now. Table 1, table 2, table 3. Now here the relation is 1 to many. If the relation is 1 to many, if the relation is, if the relation is here what? 1 to many from left to right. And uh, one to many from right to left. Sir, so what I'm telling, one dining, so one employee uh, was assigned with one shift, one shift was assigned to one employee. Like this here you have the data, year diagram is there, database tables relations are there, maintaining the ingredient details, maintaining the stock details, because daily restaurant stock will come now. They will purchase the vegetables, groceries, and everything. That information also must stored in the database. And the customers will give the feedback. The feedback information will be stored. The user details, user information, so that in future, if the restaurant want to give any offers to the customers, they can send SMS and everything. So these are the just order details, order master. This is the sample year diagram of your. See, generally in software companies, what happen means business analyst will be there. What business analyst will do? Business analyst will gather the requirements from the client. And business analyst will prepare one document. Business analyst will prepare one document. The name of the document is SRS, System Requirement Specification. The name of the document is SRS. This SRS consists of the information of the project. Is it clear? This SRS consists of the information of the project means what? Like a lot of information is there. Like project architecture diagram will be there like uh, year diagrams will be there is it clear like sample screens will be there like database tables sample database tables will be there are you following everyone similarly like uh, uml diagrams will be there like algorithms will be there any flow chart like data flow diagrams will be there data flow diagrams means how the data is flowing from front end to back end uml diagrams means class diagrams UML diagrams are helpful. Year diagrams are helpful to design the database tables. UML diagrams are helpful to design the code, actually, design the classes. At the time of writing the coding, you require some classes and methods and variables. That information you can get by using UML diagram. Data flow diagram is used to understand how the data is flowing from front end to back end. This is your front end. This is your back end. How the data is flowing from front end to back end or back end to front end. That information is available in data flow diagrams. Is it clear everyone? 
this total you will not prepare actually business analyst responsibility is that business analyst will prepare the document srs and again this srs is of two types hld and lld high level design and low level design hld is the overall information of the project is available in hld uh, the in-depth analysis on each and every particular small small tasks is available in LLD. As a developer, you must know how to read the LLD. Is it clear, everyone? So you must know. You no need to do all these things. It is very high level. Project architects, managers, and everyone will try to uh, system requirement specification, not software requirement specification. Uh, sir, a system is nothing but your project. System means the application, whatever you're developing, is called as one system. The SRS means system requirement specification. It conserves the total information of the project, like project architecture diagram, ER diagram. Software requirement specification means the software that are required to develop the project that are available in software requirement specification. ER diagram, entity relationship diagram. HLD means high level design. LLD means low level design. HLD means high level design, LLD means what? Low level design. So this is the work that was done before developer. Before the project comes to developer only, this all work will be done in the companies. High level design means the overall system design. The total uh, project architecture diagram. This is the project architecture diagram. Just this diagram is very important for you in interview point of view. Is it clear? Whenever you attend any interviews, you must be able to explain what the project architecture diagram means. Just interviewer will ask you, can you explain about your project? He will not give you much time. You must be able to explain this diagram. Simple diagram. Sir, my project is RMS. Basically, my project consists of four modules: admin module, floor module, manager module, kitchen module. My responsibility is developing admin module and floor module. Something like that because single developer will not involve in all the project development. Is it clear? Whatever the project uh, you have involved, that you have to mention in uh, within your uh, this one. Which one? You have to explain to the interviewer in a clear manner. Are you following everyone? HLD comes of the overall project uh, uh, information is available in HLD. It is a high level design, overall system design, the system architecture design database design it describes the relation between the various modules and functions of the system data flow diagrams all these things are available low level design lld is something like detailing hld because developer point of view developer must understand lld it is a low level design is it clear and for example if you take one small requirement like i have one login base enter username enter password and here I have one button called sign in and here I have one database table is there with name login with columns username and password and here what now the developer what is the role of developer developer must design this screen he must understand the year diagram he must understand the class diagram how to write the code what is the relation what are the tables that are required what is the data flow diagram for this particular screen a particular task is there now the uh, requirement belongs to a particular task. So detailing HLD is LLD. Just okay. Now, as a developer, your role is uh, every day when you go to the company, you have to check your mail. Your manager or team lead, what they will do, they will send the tasks to your mail. You have to open your task. The designer will try to do the designing. His designing screens and everything will be ready. You must know, understand the requirement. The requirement is also clearly mentioned in your mail is it clear so in this video we discussed about how to just introduction about the project what we are developing that is restaurant management system so in the next video we'll discuss about the database tables related to our project for more videos try to subscribe to this channel share like and click on bell icon thank you have a nice